fundamentally changing the way water moves and behaves around the planet. Glaciers are melting at staggering rates, and the Arctic ice cap has shrunk to the lowest level ever recorded. The science tells us that if we warm the Earth by two degrees Celsius, we bring about an unstoppable process that raises the sea level by five to nine meters. Meters. Not feet. Most of the world's cities are on coastlines. Say goodbye to New York, London, Boston, Washington, D.C., San Francisco, Beijing, Rio de Janeiro. The list goes on and on. Where are all those people going to go? This has been your climate interruption. So remember, interrupt climate change before it interrupts you. Dance break. For more information, please watch How to Let Go of the World all the things climate can't change in theaters and on HBO June 27th. And if you eliminate the fossil fuel costs by switching to hydrogen, then you can charge a much lower rate, and that will get you more ridership. And that's the concept that we really need to get separate to grasp, and that fossil fuels were a bad idea to begin with, now it's a dumb idea whose time has ended. If we go to a hydrogen bus fleet, which we can do easily because we have the technology infrastructure right here to do that. That would allow us to dramatically lower the cost of the fare at the same time that we generate jobs which restores our economy, which is in the basket. Hmm. Hydrogen, it's, it's just not there anymore. It's there. <laughs> it's just, I'm guy. sorry, we, we have a different type of opinion. The this guy? is the vehicle guy. He's been in the industry okay. for but, 20 but, years. But he's, he's, he's right. There, there's hydrogen vehicles available in Cali Southern California. How much do they cost? You know what? I'm not 100 percent sure. I did talk to New Flyer. I mean, about if this. you can sell him on it, you can sell me on it. I do. I, I, I need to, I need to build with here. I need to come in and talk to you some more. We had the annual. And I, I hear you. I really do. I, 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 I mean, I really actually respect your opinion on this, but. You, you have to respect, too, that we have our opinions, and they're grounded in, I mean, it's been interesting to hear the criticism of EPA in all of this dialogue, which is not necessarily explicit, but implicit in everything you say. Because EPA literally has a combined heat and power partnership to promote this technology. I mean, but look, President Obama, as of a few years ago, was bragging about, you know, enough new pipelines to circle the world how many times. Like, we think that was extremely wrongheaded. We were pushing on the Keystone XL pipeline on offshore. Like, we don't, we don't think the EPA is correct about a lot of things. So. The other thing I just ask you to remember is that this is 15% of our total energy load. Right. I mean, this is like a fraction of the total energy that we consume in our system. And we're pursuing very aggressively other projects to reduce our greenhouse gases substantially. This is just something that the industry has started to look at because of the risks of power vulnerability on our regional rail. I mean, this isn't... I, we, we each have perspectives on this. I mean, and we need to keep ridership growing and all kinds of other environmental benefits associated with that. Absolutely. No, I... I have my monthly pass. I take SEPTA everywhere, every day. You know, here we go. <laughs> Hello. I'm uh, Jenny Hanover, and I live in Philadelphia. I live in Germantown. And I do not want this CHP plant put up because I worked for 14 years in renewable energy, and I know that the fossil fuel industry is going down the tubes pretty rapidly. And nukes are just as bad because there's no way 
that anyone has figured out how to dispose of the nuclear waste. So it sits there and it's a threat to future generations for sometimes thousands of years. Uh, what we need is some common sense to train, to educate, to get publicity in favor of renewables. Nu nuclear is bad, fossils are bad. Uh, they say wind power kills birds, but that's no longer very true because birds can teach their young and they have. Now birds avoid wind towers, so they are not being killed except in a very, very few limited cases. Same thing with bats and other flying creatures. Uh, they're putting more wind towers out at sea and sending the power into the grid. Personally, I am for local communities furnishing their own power locally. I'm for private homes furnishing power with solar collectors on their houses or the apartment buildings. And this, to me, is what we really need. Something that is for us something that is for the children you've seen if you palabras se muestra de que nosotros sí podemos ganar cuando empezamos este avance y luego quiero presentarles a una gran luchadora Rosa Lida desde Honduras Ya con muchos días, pues para mí me es mucho, para mí es bueno, más tiempo ¿verdad? que estuviéramos aquí, porque sabemos ¿verdad? que tenemos que hablar nuestros propios derechos y hablar contra estas grandes transnacionales que nos vienen invadiendo nuestros, los territorios a nuestras comunidades también. Good morning, everybody. This may be the last day of our caravan, as the many days it might seem, but I wish it was many more days so that we can continue to unite our communities because I come here from Honduras and we have to unite so that we can really change and fight back against these transnationals. <laughs> Còn ước là có thể là kéo dài cái chuyến đây này nhiều hơn nữa Thế tiếp tục là đoàn kết tất cả cái cộng đồng đây là để đấu tranh chống lại cái tập đoàn đa quốc gia này Ya que ellos dicen que eh, llegan a las comunidades a dar un desarrollo Eso es una mentira Donde nosotros ha llegado una transnacional a dejarlos eh, invadidos más bien nuestro territorio Y nos ha destruido todos los cultivos de nuestra comunidad when they come to our communities, they say they're coming to bring development. That is a lie. In our community, they brought in a company that has been destroying our lands and destroying what we've cultivated. Por eso nosotros tenemos que levantar la voz como comunidades y como organizaciones que estamos unidas. Tenemos que alzar esa voz todos juntos, porque un pueblo unido jamás será vencido. That's why we must all raise our voices with the impacted community, because with that voice we can beat them, because the people united will never be defeated. <laughs> Đó, đó là lý do tại sao mà tất cả mọi người, những cái người mà bị ảnh hưởng đến chúng ta này cần phải đoàn kết lại với nhau bởi vì chỉ có làm như vậy thì mình mới thể đấu tranh chống lại những cái, uh, những cái tập đoàn này. It's been now three years, almost four years, that we've been resisting the implementation of a hydroelectric dam in our community, and we're not tired. We're going to continue resisting that dam. <cười> cái cộng đồng của của cô này ở Honduras đã đấu tranh chống lại cái 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 đập thủy điện à, 3 tới 4 năm rồi họ không có bao, họ không vẫn chưa có mà họ sẽ tiếp tục đấu tranh cho đến cái nào họ thắng thì thôi. Just like they attack us, we have to be on the alert in all of our communities so that we can defend each other 
cũng như khi mà cái tập đoàn tấn công cái cái cộng đồng của mình thì mình phải đấu tranh à, chống lại họ và cái việc mà bảo vệ cái cộng đồng của chính mình và như vậy thì mình có thể là à, à, cố gắng giành lại cái quyền lợi của mình.